Any other viewpoint of the example of non-existent of God being rationally justified? You can try. Oh, that's, what I'm, uh, that's what I'm trying to do, saying if, if something exists now, Oops. there has to be always something. So. Najibullah was saying that, you know, there could be many, many thousands of nothing. I said, no, the nothing that I am explaining to you, postulating to you, in contrast to what is something, is this which is absolute nothingness. But absolute nothingness cannot make something. So we could not have been a result of absolute nothingness. Okay, let's just but makes sense. So if there was, the, if, if that means there has to be always something there, there cannot be absolute nothingness in the past at all. There has to be always something, always. So if there is always something, what is the nature of this always, uh, this something? And I said, this is the creator who has always been in existence. Okay, that, is the, that is the this, evidence this is that I'm putting forward. You're putting on, on, on it. It, again, it's going to be an assumption that you put on for your God. It's going to be an assumption another man is going to be putting on this for their God. And it's not going to do any of us any good. There is only one God. There cannot be more than we one God. No, I, I'm we saying there cannot be more than one we God. We don't know. Okay. We don't know. Nobody knows. Let me give you an example then. The We're using our senses, right? If there are two gods who are absolute, and one of them says, Mansur, totally disappear from existence, annihilation. Mm -hmm. And another god says, no, I actually like this guy. I want him to live for another hundred years. Okay, it's something so that what's going to happen? Say. Possibilities. Possibilities. Either the absolute god, which is all powerful by definition, absolutely all powerful, wants me to be totally annihilated from existence. He should be able to do that. What if so they both I'm no have longer... the same agenda? Let's see what if they both have the same agenda. Same agenda. We... The quarrel is between um, let you're me, trying to... Let me tell you what an absolute God is. Leading you down, so. I know, I'm telling an you. An absolute see, being... But he's going to come back. You, you know, bro, that you're going to come back to this, that we have five senses, the whole point of... The, Can I finish my point? You, you see, there's one nothing that you define, right? As I told you before, this nothing, this nothing, has been tested many of years before. By who? By Aristotle, by Socrates, by... You can't by, test this by, nothing. It's not a testable... Con something that you can when, when I say tested, I mean like through, through their mind, they exercised on it, they thought about it, they argued about it. Yeah. What I'm saying over here, when we come to 16th century and we, when we come to the, the scientific method, we find a way that the reality we, we explain, we have evidence for it. So you can test it, I can test it, everybody can test it. So you've only limited with, yourself with, 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 by scientific again, methodology again, on a concept which is metaphysical. Again, again, with, with coming to your previous point, as, as you helped but, me out here, that my pancreas could be tested. No, no, my no, no mind nothing. You see tested. how, brother, how can I continue um, understanding your point? You are shifting from a material thing like your pancreas to a metaphysical thing, a concept of nothing. A concept of nothing cannot be tested in any laboratory how, how is by it any methodology of science. I don't disagree with that. Then you cannot use the methodological but tools science employs to test nothing. Nobody says over here you that we are <laughs> testing nothing. We cannot test nothing. As okay. I agree. Right. But we can talk about the, it. The only thing I disagreed about was the standard of proof and evidence. And I think draw, drawing parallels between things like the pancreas, no, for example. My point was, sorry to interrupt, there are different levels and types of evidence. Absolutely. Yes. And there's no. You, you cannot just use a particular type, scientific method, the only acceptable evidence, or what my five cents only does. Because there can be mathematical proofs. There can be intellectual proof, rational proofs. Mathematical and we use proofs are also not necessarily some standard, scientific. Some standard of scientific not necessarily proofs. scientific. They, they are the basis. They translate into scientific proofs. Most not, of the time. not always. Take probability yeah. Into yeah. So that's why I'm saying when we have this concept about um, absolute creators. If they were absolute creators, they're absolute in their will. They don't compromise. They say, oh, how would you know? That's what absolute means. That's how we feel. No, no, that we don't that's, compromise. That's, that's what an absolute creator is, absolute no. being is. Absol if someone if, is. If you are an absolute and I'm an absolute, say for example, and we know that we, we cannot kill each other. Forever, we cannot kill each other. Yeah? Then how am I absolute if I can't kill you? If I, if, I have, if I don't have power over everything, how can I be absolute? Partially absolute, I guess. Sorry? Partially absolute. Then we're not talking about the, what the concept we're talking about. We're talking about... Then, then how would you know that two, two gods can coexist peacefully and have similar they can, universe? They, they, you cannot have two... And they, they are not absolute. Okay, let me, let me tell you first of all. The fact 
is there has to be something that exists always. So that means it's an absolute being. The, okay, let's see. Has to be absolute. Yes. Why? Because it always exists. The, and the two gods can always exist. No, no, not, no, not no. absolutely. Wait, but slow down. Two of them. The only we start. They have we is start. They kill each other. We start by the reality. The reality tells us, using our senses. Who made the reality? One of the gods. So I don't think they you're designed the argument. reality. I'm, I'm, I'm the you tools that you argument. have, using those tools. This and when you look at the reality, reality the reality informs us and we him. conclude that there is an absolute existence of something. Not supporting. It's the, your argument is not supporting this. Are you suggesting to me that there is, there is, there is, this something oh, didn't always exist? Which something? Something didn't always exist. There was absolute nothing at one point. As I said, I don't know about what the sign, what the evidence. Two options. What the evidence. Najibullah, there's yeah. only two options. Either something always existed or something always didn't exist. Okay. There's a third so option. Can analyze. There's a third option. Yeah, third is? I don't know. That's not an option. That's an option. Let me tell you why it's not an option. I'm trying to find out Okay, it. let me tell you why it's not this an option. This is what science is. Science says, I don't can know, I but tell I'm you why it's not an option? It. it is an option. Can I tell you why it's not an option? Here. In an exam, when you answer a question and you say, I don't know. This is not an exam. Excuse me. <laughs> How is it an I'm exam? just trying to illustrate a principle of thinking, right? If an exam is there asking a question, that means it has potential answers. If a question does not have potential answers, it's not a question. Do you follow that? A question by definition, if it doesn't have potential answers and if it doesn't become Free from internal contradictions is not a question at all. It's a rhetorical statement. Okay, let's question by definition no, 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 has to be free from internal contradiction and has to have potential answers. Okay, so the, the, if there's a question, yeah, but, but uh, you, you, know, you hear the point. If you say potential answers, how, so answers. how about if we don't know what the answer is? Exactly, and then the you moment, don't know. No, no, no. The potential is still there. No, no. If you don't know the answer, it's not an answer. It is what you're saying is there is an answer, but I don't know what it is. How, how so, would you so know? you are agreeing there is an answer to this question. But how would you know though? Yes. So that's in. So a question must have an answer, I'm, I'm whether you know sure. it or not. I'm not too sure whether the answer that could ever be answered. No, no, that's a different question altogether. You see, pun intended. Pun intended. Right. When we have a question, to be a question, it has to have answer to it whether I know it or not so as a student I might not know an the answer, answer, an answer or I might know the not know the right answer but it has to have an answer which I say is a potential answer to it so when we talk about absolute being I don't agree with when we talk about well, then you're not being very rational. No, I'm, I've, I have to give a counter counterpoint to it. Okay. So you said there's only two options. One option is that there's an answer. One option is that there's not an answer. No, what he's saying is there is a potential answer. But that's the point of a potential answer. How, so, there's still going to be an answer. But exactly. If, if, it, if there's an unanswered question, I'm not so sure. What, there's a few mathematical problems we nowadays. We may not know the answer. It's like two. Is NP problem? If somebody knows about it. You can Google it, but there's many, many, many questions that we we know that. The reason we're trying answer. to answer them because there is answers to them. No, 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 the, no, no, no. <laughs> this is the whole point. We don't know we, them yet. No, no, and no, no, we will no. Discover them. We, we say we, they, they might not be an answer to this. They might. There may be no answer, answer no. to this, but we still we searching. We may never know the answer to it, but they might, there probably is still an answer. It could be, could but be. But we may never know. If, it's a different point. if there was no, no answer to a question, it's not a question. Uh, how would you say that? Why would you say that? I, okay. Why would you even say that? Today is Sunday. What question have I asked? This is just one question. No, no. What question have I asked? Today is Sunday. You just made a statement. You did not ask a question. No, I've asked you a question. Answer my, please answer. Today is Sunday. This is a statement. It's not an answer. Please. This is. Now, I have asked you a question. Today is Sunday. Now, can you answer that, please? Yes. It's a Sunday. You're right. I'm just saying today is Sunday. What yeah. question have I asked? I said you're right. I agreed with you. Even if you asked a question, I what, agreed with you. And, and, what and if it? you didn't ask and, the and question... What is my question? <laughs> <laughs> what is my question? I haven't asked a question, have I? But you, I've asked you whether, whether you ask a question, sorry. you say yes, you are asking a question. Voice, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. What question have I asked? You when said I yourself. Yeah. You said yourself. I asked you, it's not a question. You made ah, a statement. So now you I realize the distinction between statements and questions. I told you when you asked the question for the right. first time, I said it's a statement, Good. sir. So when we say there are absolute beings, because if something exists now, there has to be the existence of an absolute entity always.
That's the given thing. You, you can't really question it. Why not? Why can't okay. you question it? Now, let's take it all the way. If something exists now, two options. What's your name? Mansoor, Rajulullah. Listen, let me, let me. Circles. It's going to be circles. Let's stick to one point and try That's to That's the one point it, yeah? we're trying to achieve. So, our, our standards, our standard, my standard of proof, as you said, is by testimony. Then I was trying to explain to you, look, it's not just testimony, it's, it might be testimony in this minute matter of my life. But when it comes to judging the world, I go by logic, I go by scientific method, I go by evidence. Fine. I, pay I have no much, problem with any of that. I, I pay much more attention to it. Good. Okay. That's what we're trying to do. So then it's not, it's not just it's not just the testimony Absolutely of somebody. Absolutely no. I didn't say it is. I'm simply saying if you bring forward just saying, oh, it's um, my five senses, the tools that I have, mm -hmm. and you, then I brought this example for change that it wasn't your five senses, it was something else. It was the testimony that you accepted without any kind of experimentation. When, when, of I, was, when I was telling you about my so senses, I was not... Up. So, so we have to... So we're going to underpin the point you're trying to make. Are you trying to argue that God's existence can be rationally justified? Yes. Completely rational. Yeah. Absolutely. Can other, any other, other viewpoints be rationally justified? Hmm? Can any other viewpoints, for example, that non existent of God be rationally justified? You can try. Oh, that's, what I'm, uh, that's what I'm trying to do, saying if, if something exists now, nope. there has to be always something. There was no so God, then you have to now come with a you know, an explanation about the reality, that the reality can exist without having any prior something. Okay. That means you have a concept where there's nothing and this nothing produces something. So it wasn't nothing in the first place, because if nothing produces something, that was something, because it has to have something to produce it. Okay, this, this if, is, if, if you have a concept of this, nothing, this is like an, say, God, nothing. nothing. It's the argument of design. No, no, um, you, you, no, you, it's you, a multifaceted. If you have a God, Let's call this God nothing, right? This God has no power, no consciousness, no will. Mm -hmm. Can this God make anything? Yeah. No energy. Why not? No, if, if the God has no energy, yeah. how would he exist? So how he, would he exist? Good, good. That's the that, 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 sake of argument. Say, let's say this God exists with nothing, but right? But he cannot exist. Good. So now you realize, if you have a, such a concept of nothingness, this universe could not be a result of such nothingness. That means there is a higher existence who brought this reality okay. in place. Now, and that is what I'm saying is your proof the of the existence of God. The classic argument of the argument of design is if someone created this earth, who created the creator? There's no point. It's this is an existential question. Okay. Right? The question is about, not about anything that begins to exist requires a cause or anything that is complex requires a course, what is it? Because there's people misunderstand this Kalam cosmological argument and various other forms of this. What we are saying is, look, the creator, we are not saying the creator is created. Our concept of creator is uncreated, uncaused. And how do, we, how do we establish this? We can establish this by reason. Your five senses, your brain, that if we have something and now, evidence. Hmm? And evidence. that's the evidence I'm giving you. No, it's not just evidence. But I'm not that, too sure, I'm not that, sure. That, that, if this, you're arguing that something has created something, that's what you're arguing. No, it's I'm saying, saying the, 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 God this cosmos something. is created by something that always exists. Now, how do you then question an entity that always exists and say, who made that entity? Because that entity always exists. Your question becomes meaningless. So it's not a meaningful question the, anymore. The, the, nothing the question has to be meaningful. How do you say, who created the uncreated creator? It doesn't make any sense. It does. It does because make. who created the uncreated? Yeah, then it's a regression. But it's an infinite you've, regression. You've already made an assumption that's been uncreated. Yeah. No, I'm saying... Not my no, logical proof. I just gave you the logical proof. You exist, something has to always exist. But in what? It, that something has in been existence. always exists in what? In existence. In what existence? That, so that existence that always existence, exists... In what dimensions he has? That is, he has a space-time? Is, 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 is not nothingness. Oh, so, okay. Here's the jump. Here's the jump which you're making. Now. Something which exists, exists. The jump which you've made that that has to be a creator. Ah, I'm saying that something now is an entity that exists always. What, what? are the properties... So how do we know that's created? 
let's examine what it is now. If something exists always, if something exists always, does that mean it's created? But he has to no, exist no, in something, understand. right? He has to exist if, in something. If something exists always, what are the essential characteristics and properties that something has? That okay, first property would be that he has to exist in something. First property would be that he has to exist in something. So why in something? Why not? Hmm? Would you, do you know of an existence out of something? No, that's the limitation of our universe. Uh, how would you our know? Cosmos. How would you know that he has the What he does we established, the essential characteristics, is the existence of this something being. That thing Through exists. this rationale, and this rationale tells us that something has to exist in something. I think you, the what the is same something? rationale. What is, okay, something when you say something, this rationale, you said we, we said something exists. Mm. And, and I say something exists always. Rationale, mm. Always exists. And through the same rationale, we have to conclude that that something has to exist in something. Now, when you say in something, let's, let me explain to you what I mean. In somewhere, this place or locus or location is a matter of understanding from what? Okay, a place. Philosophy and science. A place. Do you know, do you know, do you know what? A, a place could be science and uh, uh, space and time. A place could be no. many different things we don't know. No, no. So we can say... Space, we, space. Okay, let, let do you know what space something. is? Let me just say something. So if this being is maybe in a, in a parallel universe and he, he pretends to be and he's, he has sufficient technology to create a universe and probably by chance we've been created or maybe he designed that. So he's an alien. He no, could be an alien then. I think, no, how I, would you, how no, would you listen, undefine I, I, no, it? I, hear, hear me, I understand the point. I, you, I think what you're trying to say, and what I agree with, is that if there is existence in everything you're saying, what makes it... What, there has, there's what no, makes it God? No, no, what I'm saying is there's no end to it. There's no end to it. So if there's no end to their argument of existence, by bringing a creator into the argument, it's assuming an end by no, logic. No, not assuming an end. And, and the creator, we were saying the creator is the originator of our cosmos. We, if we have something that exists always, there has to be some essential properties of this something. It has to be. It has to have properties. It cannot be given power by something else because there is no, no something I'm, I'm else. Sure I, understand my point. I think the point is, is that if you're arguing that existence always exists, yeah. you're trying to say, then what existed before then? Because yeah. there always has to be let's, some Let's understand that step by step. Assuming an infinite end. Let's understand step by step. Imagine now, this is this something, like right? this point, right? This something, either there is something prior to it, or there isn't. Yeah? Are you arguing this is existence? Let me that existence that always exists, yeah. either this is always that particular reality of that existence, or there is something prior to this form. Could be. Yeah? Two possibilities, isn't it? If you have something prior to this form, then it's ad infinitum, it goes on and on, right? That's what I'm arguing. Okay, so let's use that argument. What I'm saying is, whatever that form that is ad infinitum, it has essential properties. It has to have. If it doesn't have essential properties of existence, if it doesn't have essential properties of having energy, then it's not going to produce anything. We won't be here. So it has what we call inherent characteristics. And what's the argument from then and then to no, no. create from, from inherent characteristics, if it has energy, the energy will be unbound, unrestricted, unlimited, absolute. If it has existence, that this life will be totally unbound, unrestricted. That's the only logical no, conclusion no, 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 no. that you can arrive. No, no, no. There's plenty of others. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> show me other ones. I'll show you now. So, a being exists in another universe, in a parallel universe, okay? He has the power, he's just like you and me, common citizen, where he has the technology and he's the power to create another universe. Now they are so, they are so advanced, he creates another universe in another dimension. Okay. And he declares himself to be a god, right? So, he does not have infinite power now. Hmm? He, he does not have infinite power now. His power, his power is limited in his universe. He's just a normal being you, like you and me. So you, you understand? my argument. No, no, I didn't miss it. You said that's the only reality. I just gave you another one. No. Just another one. So, so let's take your God. Let's not even no, go no, there. No, no, let's take that Manchu, God. Let's not even go there. I'm telling let's you. Let's take that God, right? I'm telling that you. That God didn't have a beginning. This is a circle argument. No, no. Let me ask you something. I want to understand the concept of God that you've provided. Okay. That God in a parallel universe didn't have a beginning. Yeah. He was born, but now they've discovered. It's not God. And, and now they've discovered. It's not God. 
and now they have discovered. The point is that in order now to they have discovered. God, there has to be a jump in belief. That's not a jump in belief. This is an only rational conclusion. No, no, no. Let's say right. that God. There has but to be something you, always. You, you Once the God is born, but now they 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 now they are they are like undead now like the immortals. Right, they have discovered the technology of emotions, I want to see and he tells us what your objections are on this. It's not an objection, this question. The, okay. the question which I want to ask is, yeah. is how is there a jump between the idea of existence from where you're arguing that everything has an existence to then the idea of a creator existing? Sure. Well, I, and that's what I so I said, this existence that always has to exist, either it go ad infinitum or, you know, it's the first cause of everything. Okay. You cannot escape these options. Okay, say, say we so, assume. So what? But from that option, let's say. From we that option, that in, from we that option. We go for the infinite route. Yeah. So if we go with the infinite route, how would you then respond to okay. say that? Okay. So what I'm saying is if you go an in infinite, that means the more you go, the more powerful that thing is. And this absolute. As you go back in time, the thing that created or originated the other thing that brought this universe is more powerful and you go back more powerful you see and you come to a point where the more back in time in the crudest understanding you go there you come to a, a, a being which is absolute in everything in terms of existence in knowledge in power so we've argued we've argued there's an infinite just with the, your definition of an existence, there's an infinite end. Now, what well, end, you say? Yeah, an or first cause? Well, infinite cause and it. Yeah. What I'm trying to get the answer yeah. out of, it's a question, it's not a bit. What I'm trying to ask is, is that we've assumed that there is an infinite start. Why have you assumed that we go further back and becomes more and more powerful? That, no, if, that, if that, there is no end. But if, no, if, if, if there was no start, you say, if it goes on like this, do you follow rationally that the more you go back, the more powerful it is. So eventually you, you're coming to and a concept of a... But how does it come to a concept of a start? That's what I was no, no. You have to come to a concept where there has to be an existent reality which is absolute. Because otherwise you would not explain any of this limited finite... And so far... Happen. So there has to be this and concept. That's the point. And, that, and that's yeah. the point I want to make. Is yeah. that if there has to be an explanation for that. And we don't know or understand that explanation because the way in which the world we're living is very finite. Why does there have to be an answer right now for it? No, so why does it have to be? There is an answer. So at least we understand that this reality that exists... No, no. Which why brought, do we now have to provide an answer? It's not about how we provide. The reality is that existent reality, which we call the Creator God, Allah, has already communicated with us, saying, okay, I am Allah. Before me, there was nothing. After me, there was nothing. I alone am the Majestic, the Supreme, the Most High. So these concepts, they resonate intellectually with us. Yes, I can understand that such a being can exist because you cannot have another being before that. There has to be a, 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 a being like this. Why it has to be? I just told you. If you don't have this you being... This has to be you put it on top. There's so many things that you, you give okay. without just... This being, this being sent prophets and messengers to make us confirm in our intellectual speculation because that's all we were doing, speculating. So when this being sent prophets and messengers and sent guidance with scripture, like the Quran being the first, final one, this confirms that it is from this being. Let me so ask a few you questions. you need to ask us so how do you let's go about it. give evidence that the Quran is from this let's, being? Let's go. Let's That's go what you should be asking. Let's, let's go about it. Um, I haven't asked you a question yet. To what you are advocating, I never. I haven't asked you a question. So far, it's just me it's trying to explain. Yeah. Now, the whole point in the, in the beginning of last week. <laughs> Where was he? I think we're assuming about existence and the idea of it there being a start. Okay. The whole point is that we go by a definition of this world that we can answer, which is answerable as you yourself said. Now, to the beginning, you say somebody created it. I say I don't know. Right? This, this is the main difference. You say you are sure you know. Are you, you willing know. to learn? This, know the answer. You see this? 
Yeah. I'm willing to learn. But are you willing to know the answer? No, no, no. Here, here. Assuming we have the answer. No, you cannot see something over here. Let you can't assume there isn't. Sorry. If you assume there isn't, then no, there's no, no question. No, no, no. You see, my point over here is I do not know. This means inherently that I'm willing to learn. I do not know, so I'm willing to learn. What you're doing I over here... follow, but yes, I, I, I follow you. Then. What does it mean, I do not know? No, no, there are many people who, who, who don't know and they're not willing to learn. No, no, that's... They're, they're stubborn people, no, but you're not one of admitting, them. Admitting that, you see, one has to admit first that they do not know. Then that is the only way they can do learn. Do you care to know? Sir, this is the... This, you do! Sir, this but is the reason... But there are people, I'm just saying, look, saying people, there are people who don't care to know. Yeah, so that, that is that fine. So, that is fine. So, so, so let's go past and say fine. Okay. So you want now, to know. So my, How would you know? my position over here would be that I do not know, right? Okay. It opens me a world of possibilities. Okay. One could be true. Sure. One could so be now, true, right? now your let, point let's over examine here. how we no, know. No, no, no. That's, that's the crucial <laughs> let point. Let me say something. So there you go. This no, is no, 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 important. No, 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 let me say something. How do we know? You're saying, you, you are saying that you know something. Yes. Yeah? And I'm saying I do not know something. Okay. Now my, I can learn because I'm saying I do not know it, so I can learn. But you cannot learn. I said I cannot learn. How would you learn? Because you know it already. You said you, you know see, how, you see, how the universe was made. You're, you're speaking in a very cryptic way. If I knew everything, no, then you, I have nothing to learn. Do you know how universe? But was do made? I know everything? I don't. Do you know who you know who made the universe? Um, yes. You know it. Yeah? I do. So would you be for open me, to other suggestions? No, no. Exactly. Just, just now I can out. learn, and you cannot, because if you say, can put forward say, your arguments, no, 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 and say, I can examine them. No, that's not the question. Would you be open? No. If I'm convinced, if I'm convinced that I'm not a brain in a jar. You can give me all the other options, that, or maybe a computer simulation. Remember, that I'm, I'm, I'm using this universe now on you. There is two. There's just two positions over here. One is yours, one is mine. I say I do not know. I'm I am saying you there are know other the possibilities, and we can examine them. But I'm convinced of the possibilities that I have put forward. So I'm saying this Quran is from God and cannot be from other than God. Other than God. So. I can give you explanations and reasons and um, evidence why this is from God and you can reason with me saying, okay, not convincing, convincing or otherwise. So if you can establish that this book is from God with certainty, then you know. Yeah. How would you establish this book is from God? Sure. I so, hope it wouldn't be by the, the tools of evidence we were debating. So it? let's see what tools of evidence we can use then. Okay. No, but so, what, how, you have to establish this is a word of God. Yeah, so how can we establish a book can be word of God? What does the book need to have to provide that have, level of certainty? You have to establish the existence of God first. Whom the book came, <laughs> see, whom the book came from. If the book itself demonstrates that it cannot be from any being, either on this earth, or anyone that you can see, terrestrial to extraterrestrial, then you know it's coming from the one who claims it's coming from. How would you know? So, so you, know you believe in aliens without any proof? Right. I, I believe in probability of aliens. I also Do you believe in probability of God? I, yes. Good. So if human beings could not be the author of this Quran... But that would be a very minute pro probability that you have to see. You see, there's a probability of a thousand times. If I, if I flip a head, mm. if I flip a coin, yeah, there's a probability what, in a thousand times that head is going to come. But that by probability would be very, very minute. Very strong. Right? Very, very, very same, strong. same with the probability of God. It would be very, very minute. Um, As the reason I, don't I understand. would say, sir, the reason I would say is some claims already made in Quran does not justify reality, the evidence. I would straight, sure. straight so, come up come up with evolution. We don't need to go by it. We just, evolution. Evolution. One is evolution. And then what the, evolution is a proof of what? Evolution is proof of human, how humans evolved from humans haven't evolved three, what's your evidence for three, humans evolution three, three, three. so we're coming back to that uh, okay testimony now thing. so no no not testimony now i'm going to question the very science that you are now upholding without any evidence so listen so okay when you say humans have evolved evolved from another species prior to the humans yeah. and what is the evidence for that exactly we have fossil evidence fossils let's take about fossils so in the, in the fossils which is like you know, if you go in a in a mountain and you can see this uh, layer different layers so I see, like, imagine this is the layer, you know, these are different layers, right? Yeah, one fossil here, one fossil here, one fossil here. What evidence do you have to say this particular species evolved from this species? Genetic, the genetic code. So now fossil evidence has become genetic code, okay. So fossils doesn't prove anything then. Because they only show, no, they only show the topology of, topology. 
they only show the existence of where there are certain species. It doesn't prove you in any way, shape or form that species came from there. I might say that species came from that one. No, you cannot say that. Why not? Because then genetically it would not be, you so, won't be able so to So it's nothing it. about... So, so, so fossils. You see, I'm not making this up. I'm not making this Let's up. Let's talk about genetics now. <clears throat> In genetics, so you have the genetic code of these organisms and the genetic code of these organisms. What is your proof that this organism, this species, came from that one using genetics? So they would have similar ge genetics? Similarity doesn't mean one came from they the other. They would have certain very, traits. Very bad logical look, argument. No, no, it's not a logical argument. It is just there. You can go and look for yourself. Look, it's look, not, look. It's I studied evidence. genetics in my university it's, years, it's right? It's an evidence. Um, Part of my um, it's, it's subject of genetics. So it's, and I'm not the only. No, Jim, I'm look. not propagating it only. You listen, see? listen. Genetics. There's a genetic code. You know, whole. You know, different. Different. You know, you, you can actually. You know, get a whole of the genomes, mm -hmm. and, and you can quantify that, right? Okay. So you have the human genome project, and you can have the whole of the monkey genome, the chimpanzee genome. What is your evidence that this gave to that? What? Changes. The similarities no, 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 no. and changes. Similarities. Just because but something is similar, it doesn't me mean one something. came from the other, does it? I do not know the exact process of how to judge one from other. You see, I, I just read the theory of evolution and looked the evidence of it. Did you question it properly? See. Exactly, sorry. So, now help let me, me out now. How did you get this species came I, from that species I, when there is only a genetic similarity? I'm not a doctor or I'm not a genetic. But you accepted genetics. it on yeah. blind faith. No, on no, blind no, faith? No, 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 you cannot see on blind so faith. So how did you accept it? Okay, I'm telling you. When I read, when I read... I don't think genetics is the right way because we're, I don't believe, 99% no, no, genetically similar to a banana. Chimpanzee. We have no, similar no, no, no. to rats and... 50 percent, 50 percent similar to banana. What, what do uh, so does that so, mean I came from so a chimpanzee? All, no. Yeah. No chimpanzee though, pre, pre apes. Um, how much similar are we to a chimpanzee? We are all, I think we about 98 percent. Absolute rubbish. Yeah. Do you know why it's absolute rubbish? You could say 93 percent. Do you know why I say that? Yeah. How have we mapped all the human genome with all the chimpanzee genome? Or did we only have two percent of non-coding DNA with some of them, and out of this we tried to map it? <laughs> uh, okay. You haven't really gone into this studies, have you? Listen, what I'm, you you've what been I'm trying to say really where? fooled and misled by everyone else. You see, now you, you're trying to assume. Look, look, look. That's fine. Okay. I don't mind. Listen, listen. I get it all the time. I have no problem with it. No, but what no, I'm no, trying no. to tell hear you is. Hear me out. Hear me out. Li you know, right now, me. right now, go into any of the websites, whether in Talk Origins Archive or any of the websites by Richard Dawkins or, you know, um, Stephen Mayers, whoever you like, right? Go find the paper that they have put forward from scientific journals where they have mapped every single genes. No, it's... It, you, you said you have read, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm the one who haven't read. So you should be able to provide the evidence. Show me where they have mapped. Do you know why it's impossible to map like this? They're when you read and investigate, you'll mapping, find out. They are mapping now. So. Uh, they're not mapping they're now. Mapping. You have already accepted they are 99% similar. I am challenging you that 99% or 97% or over 90%, giving you a broader range, right? It is not based on comparing 100% with 100%. What is it based on? It was initially based on 2% of non-coding and that itself was a part of this two percent right so so you you have already got something. look you have got something yeah? i can show you the paper which, which talked about this you've got something you're now you know you now you know better than theory of evolution why would you not write a paper to counter it people have and then i would believe it do you know what happens evolution is not a problem with religion if evolution happened in the... Of course not. I can be a believer in evolution, it doesn't have any effect in my belief whatsoever. You but are I'm lucky, but I'm telling you cannot. And you know for yourself and I know for myself. See, be, be, in a Muslim society, you go say you believe in evolution listen, and the, the shit you what, get. What I'm pointing to is this. Evolution has become a dogma and anyone who is resenting and, and showing um, an opposite view, they don't like it. Exactly. They don't. They, no, no. The scientific they are, community they don't are, like it. They don't want to publish not, it. No, so, so I am saying it's not that, your it's not idea, that, your idea. It's not of, that, Manzu. It's all the creationists there on one side. Look, they, look, just, look, they just. I, want I am to not arguing like a Christian creationist through this process. But ultimately, there is a director who's gone. 
But the only problem can arise is when it comes to human evolution. Human. We say human beings are placed through what we call a miracle. Science don't believe in miracles, so you cannot use the scientific tool to test our claim. So there is human beings, but a particular creation. We have evidence for it. So this evidence is what I'm trying to say for human evolution. This is your belief. Okay, no, it's, it's not my belief. Now, why don't, why don't, if you want, I'm you sure can, you I'm, can I'm, sit I'm, down and look or look, you look, can look, read it look, look. yourself. Which books and papers have you read? Monsoon. Let me test you. Origin of Species. Which Origin of Species. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's not going to help you. For me. What, what for have me. you read really to arrive at this conclusion that evolution, for me, species can I arise from? I read, I read the theory of evolution first. Of all. From which, which scientific article, yeah. journal, books? The theory of the evolution from, from what? the gentleman. And I just named the, the book. Which book? Origin of Species. That's not going to help you. But because he doesn't you give you the answer. Th that, that's that's how you go. This is a real evolution. Why are you wasting your time with these people? Allah has sealed their hearts. Yeah, brother, there brother. You we, there you go. This is what I get. Allah has sealed your heart, bro. That's Listen, right, bro. there is enough life if you want to see. If you focus on the negative everything, you're going to see the negative of everything. If you focus on the positive everything, you're going to see the light within everything. You're choosing not to see the light, bro. People can't help you, bro. You have to help. Make your heart sincere, then you then you'll be guided, bro. Like this point guided, I'm bro. making. This is I, what, no, no, exactly point, what Taliban do, bro. No, no, no. It's not Taliban, oh, bro. no. I'm not here cutting your head, bro. No. I'm here. I'm you know what? You're, you're, you're suppressing uh, the argument. You're trying to no, suppress I'm the argument. I'm telling you the truth, and, and you think it's suppressing are, you because trying, it's the truth. We are, the yeah. truth is sometimes too much to bear. That's not, not my fault. We are not, That's not my fault. We are not hitting each other. We are not hitting each other. We are just practicing, practicing free speech. Exactly. exactly. To come, to exactly. come to a point. And I'm just telling you my piece. Yeah. I'm going to go now, isn't it? <laughs> what you don't realize is, you believe in things without real evidence for it. You have read some books here and there, like most of us do. You have not critically examined. It's, it's not possible. Have you? It's, have you? It's logically wait, not wait. possible to have, have a God. You? Have you yes. critically examined evolution? Yes. Okay, now tell me. Now he's going to ask me questions. I have never given a paper. Believe me, I never claimed that I'm a biologist. I've read but it. But you've critically examined it. Yeah, that does not mean I would remember everything from it. No, no, no. Once you critically examine something to accept it in faith, you have enough substance from it. But I would. Look. Otherwise, it's a blind okay. faith. Okay. Here's, here's the approach I do. If I don't know enough about something, I ask the questions. Yeah. I'm not claiming to believe in anything. You, all I want to get is this brother's opinion, just for knowledge sake. This is just about if we are agnostic, for example. I, I do believe in God, but if we are agnostic, so people who are not sure, from that point of view, you're there only to seek knowledge. And if you're only to seek knowledge, you're not claiming a viewpoint. Mm -hmm. You may question this brother's viewpoint on the idea of God existing, but that questioning isn't to base your viewpoint, it's to get his view. Exactly. That's the whole point. So there's no point where you know, you're arguing, we're arguing, we're just trying to discuss. We're trying to get this for What we're claiming is this book cannot be produced by any human beings ever. Never can be produced. How do I know? How would you think? You would know. Uh, let me tell you, up till now, no one's been able to. So we can go by historical evidence. Right? So we have a historical question. This Quran came of 1430 something, eight years ago or something, from the Prophet Muhammad. Up till now, it is impossible, we have seen, that no one was able to produce a book like it. So the, the Quran gives its own challenges. It gives its own challenges to discredit it itself. If I write a book today and say this is from God, and it's just brilliant, brilliantly written down, yeah? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just brilliantly written down. If I write a book, mm -hmm. brilliantly. Masterpiece, nobody can copy it, nobody can change it, and I claim the same thing in it. Sure. And I say this is from God, and God so, said, so, I'm just saying. Oh, you're finishing the argument. Go so, ahead. that my, bo that book claiming that it cannot be copied, or it cannot be exact, something can be reproduced, does not make that book from God. You understand? It could be it could be a brilliant piece of work by a human. It is not proof of that this book comes from God. You have to look through other other evidences. Other evidences would be like um, what are stars. Let me, let me try to understand what you said. If someone writes a book and says this is from God, yeah. then it must present itself with evidence within it yeah. that is from God yeah, you that you cannot that match it. Cannot be copied. Yeah. Uh, no. you cannot so so we can like examine that. it. 
So you can't say it's not a proof of anything, we can examine it. So now bring any book that you have and we can have. examine it. Such as? I don't have, but it could be written okay. down. It could be written, no, 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 like no. Bible. We say could be, we're not talking about the Bible, it's a logical fallacy again. Don't bring logical fallacies in the how equation. Is fallacy? This Quran makes how, a claim. How is it a fallacy? Would you explain how is it a fallacy? I'm not claiming Does anything the Quran, about Quran say this Bible cannot be written by any other than God? I'm, it doesn't. I did not say Quran is going to say that. I said the that Quran book is going to say that. I said that book is going to say, claim in itself that this is written by God and words cannot be reproduced. It, yeah? it doesn't say that. What I'm saying so is that. Bring an example which does claim and we can examine it. This is an example, so I've given you an example that uh, such a book could be written down. Najibullah. But then people would when, challenge that. When, when yeah, exactly. we want they to challenge examine. it and say, for instance, if they challenge it and they, they still cannot pro uh, produce similar results, yeah. then would that justify that? Would then the claim the stands. If somebody, let me give you, if I say, look. That, that okay, claim me, is not for the God, though. That's on, That's the whole point I'm telling you. Okay. Let, is, me, let me help you with the principles again, principles. I claim to be the fastest runner. I can beat anyone in running. And I say, look, I challenge anyone. Okay, race with me. Now, if you try racing with me and I win, you know my claim still stand, that I'm faster than you. Everyone can come. If you don't engage with me, then I, my claim still stands until you disprove my claim. So a book makes a claim that yes, this is from God, if you haven't disproved it, the claim still stands. Quran, do you not understand the claim is still there? But you're not trying to understand my point. Yes, that claim is right that that book is fabulously written. It's not about I do not disagree it's with nothing that. nothing about being fabulous. Because that claim is for the, for the beautiful nature of Quran. No, I do not. not disagree. It's mm. not. You see, but what your assumptions are leading you, you, you are to, trying to yes, see misunderstand the argument. He's suggesting the claim exists. He's not suggesting that's necessarily true. He it may believe it's true, but claim is true. It, it won't justify it from being God. It, no, it can what justify I'm saying it's is, a beautiful book. It cannot justify no, it from God. No, if this book claims, look, this is from God, you cannot produce it, and it challenges people to produce something like it. If you cannot produce something, then it is actually claiming to you and demonstrating to you that this claim, whoever's making it, knows what they're claiming. It, it is not, as I said, I just told you one example of it. And you're not trying to, you see, because you don't, you don't have to be so defensive about it. You have to just, I'm not being defensive, I'm yes, trying to help not, understand the claim. You are, you're not looking out, you're just looking through a, a tunnel vision. You have to look onto things. Are you looking through a tunnel vision? I'm not looking through a tunnel okay. vision. That's so let's like examine this book. Each time you ask me a question. Good, good, good. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. No, so, so let's, listen, listen, listen. So let's examine it then. Let's okay. have a water break and Why? come back to it. No, no, I want to ask you this question. <laughs> but this is going to go break. on in no, no, circles. No. Why? Are people unable to match this Quran? I'm asking you directly. <laughs>